morning and welcome to Mrs. Pennington's Preschool. We are week four, day five. So this is the last day for the letter D and the number two. And you can access all the worksheets that you need right on the video description. There is a link to the Google Drive and you can click on that and then just get right what you need off of that. So you can do your worksheets while we're doing ours. So this is our morning worksheet for today. We will find the letter B. We will count our eggs. We will trace our Bs. And then... This one just has A, B, C, D, so you can see we've moved on from matching big and small pictures to just matching the letters and the big B, little B. And I've done big B, little B, so they don't get confused with the B and B looking so similar. And then on the bottom, we've got a candle, dinosaur, carrot, and donut. See if you can remember the first sound you hear, cut, cut, candle. See if you can figure out which letter you need. Yeah. All right, you boys ready? Let's go. Let me do it. Right here. Here we go, boys. Little E cup. Ooh. Mom, this is a fun one. This you like this song. Big C, little C. <laughs> This is your favorite one. It's one amazing uh, guy to make this one. It's a Mr. Bean one. Was that one Yep, big C, little C. Where are the rest of them? Kaz, what about you? Which color? Big B, little B. Big B, little B, yes. What about your A? Where's the little D? This is big B. Where's little D? That's A. Where's D? Yes! Here, you do it with your pencil. Just D. Just D. Just D. Good job. You like the line? Pretty good. Big A, little A. Down here, down here. Little A, where is D? Down there on the left. Good job. Here's your big D. Where's your little D? Up high. There he is. All right, big C, little C. I see some at the top. Circle the nest with two eggs. Just two. Circle the nest with two eggs. Good job, Kaz. Just two eggs. You found them, Kaz. You did it right. Mom, two Just two eggs. eggs. Circle. It says circle, not color. Circle the nest with two eggs. Just two. That one has four. One, two, three, four. Not that one. Just two. None. None eggs in there. All right, Vic, here's another color. This is a carrot, Vic. See if you can find ka, ka, carrot. A, ba, ka. Where's carrot? Yes, carrot. Okay, I need you to do this correctly. Kaz, Vic. Donut. Da, da, donut. Which one says da? Good job. Dinosaur. Da, da, dinosaur. Good job. Candle. Ka, ka, candle. Excellent. You've done this. You found your D's. I need you to trace these correctly. X, you found X. your three birds with nests with two eggs. Kaz, I love your coloring, love. Let's circle. Circle first. Circle, buddy. All right, Vic, you've done a great job. Just trace your D's. I love your circle. Good job, Kaz. There is one more nest with two eggs. Can you find him? He has none. He has four. Two. Two. Circle the nest with two eggs. Only, only, only your red one. Oh, I like it. Okay. Because you have found your A, B, C, D. You need to do some D tracing and then find little D. And then let's look at those pictures on the bottom in your workbook. Mommy, I don't know who it is. That says Rosewood. Rosewood. 
Sheet today with the dogs on it, and then on the back we have some big bees, little D's with some dogs. And so, duck, duck, duck. Then we'll look around the room and see what else do we see that starts with the D sound. Duck, duck, duck. You boys ready? Yes. Well, let's go. Start our worksheets. Up and around. Nice, Vic. Do it nicely. Good job. Okay, Kaz, let's see you, buddy. Here's a color. D says duck. The letter D. Writing our D's. D says duck for dog. Duck. Dandelion. 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 You like the dandelion flowers? No. Right, you got to look at your paper while you write. D says duck has. Duck, duck, dandelion. Drum. Dinosaur. Dandelion. What about a Debbie? Little Debbie food cake. That starts with D. D says duck. D says duck. Drum. Good job, Kaz. Let me see a few more. D says duck, duck, duck. Can I hear duck, duck, duck? Yeah, because these are all.
Well okay, done. Chaos, you're doing great, buddy. You only have two left. You did a great job doing your D's. Okay, D says, da. Good job, Chaz. That looks awesome. D says, da. D says, da. Mommy, Good job. I want to see sticky. Our book for today is A Fish Out of Water. This little fish, I said to Mr. Carp, I want him, I like him, and he likes me. I will call him Otto. Very well, said Mr. Carp. Now I will tell you how to feed him. Then Mr. Carp told me, when you feed a fish, never feed him a lot. So much or no more, never more than a spot. Or something may happen. You never know what. Then I took Otto home. I gave him some food. I did not give him much, just one little spot. But this did not make Otto happy. He wanted more food. He had to have more. Poor Otto, he just had to have more. I knew what Mr. Carp had told me. Never feed him a lot, never more than a spot, or something may happen, you never know what. But I gave Otto all of the food in the box. Then something did happen. My little Otto began to grow. I saw him grow and grow and grow and grow, and soon he was too big for his little fish bowl. There was just one thing to do. I put Otto into the flower bowl. There, Otto, I said. This will hold you. But no, the flower bowl did not hold him. Otto went right on growing. This was not funny, not funny at all. His tail was growing right out of the top. I grabbed the flower bowl. I ran with it. Otto, I said, I know just where to put you. Then you'll be all right. I put him in a big pan. But Otto was not all right. I saw him grow some more. Very soon, he was too big for the pan. I put him into pan after pan. He was growing so fast. Poor Otto, my poor little fish. Oh, why did I feed him so much? Otto, I said, stop growing, please. But Otto could not stop growing. He was growing all the time, and very soon I ran out of pans. Otto had to have water. There was just one thing to do. I did it. I grabbed him by the tail. I ran with him up to the bath. The bath is big. It can hold lots of water. At last. There, Otto, I said. This bath holds my father. This bath holds my mother. So it will hold you. But the bath did not hold him at all. He went right on growing. Oh, Otto, I said, what can I do now? Then crash, the door went down. Crash, Otto went down, and I went down too. Oh, what a ride. Down went the water into the cellar. And down went Otto too. I had to do something. I grabbed the phone. I called a policeman. Help, help, I said. I fed my fish too much. Mr. Carp told me not to, but I did. What, said the policeman. Mr. Carp told you not to, but you did? Too bad. I will come at once. The policeman came. My fish went that way, I said. He's down in the cellar. The policeman ran down with me. What a fish, he said. This is much too big to keep in a cellar. We have to get him out. We had to work and work to get Otto out. Poor Otto. Oh, why did I feed him too much? Mr. Carp told me something would happen, and it did, it did. Now we had Otto out of the cellar, but now Otto had no water. No water at all. A fish has to have water, I said to the policeman. We must take him to water. Get help. Call for help on the radio. The policeman called on the radio. He called for the fireman. Help, help, he said. A boy has fed his fish too much. A boy has fed his fish too much. We will come at once. The firemen came. They all helped to get Otto up. Well, where can we take him, I asked. Uptown, downtown.
To the pool, yelled the fireman. To the pool, I yelled, and please hurry. They did hurry. The fire engine with Otto came right up to the pool. The fireman yelled, everybody get out of the pool. The fish is going in. Down into the pool went Otto, into the pool with a big splash. Now I was happy. Now at last my Otto had water, lots of water. This big pool was just the thing. This big pool would hold him. But Otto went right on going, and no one wanted Otto in the pool. They did not like Otto at all. You take that fish out of here, they yelled. There was just one thing to do, and I did it. I ran to the phone, and I called Mr. Clark. Please, please help me, I said. I fed Otto too much. Oh, dear, said Mr. Carp. So you fed him too much. I knew you would. I always say don't, but you boys always do. Yes, I will come. Then Mr. Carp came. He had a black box in his hand, and he had a lot of other things, too. What are you going to do, Mr. Carp? I asked him. But Mr. Carp said nothing. He just went right up to the pool. He took his black box with him, and all the other things too. Splash! Mr. Carp jumped right into the pool. Splash! Now Otto went down too. All I could see was his tail. I could not see Mr. Carp at all. What was going on down there? What were they doing down in the water? Now I could see nothing. Not Otto, not Mr. Carp, nothing at all. Would I see my Otto again? Would I see Mr. Carp again? Mr. Carp, Mr. Carp, I yelled. What are you doing? Are you all right? Then up jumped Mr. Carp. In his hand was a little fish bowl. In the bowl was my Otto. Mr. Carp made him little again. Don't ask me how I did it, he said. But here is your fish. And from now on, said Mr. Carr, please don't feed him too much. Just so much and no more. Now that's what I always do. Now I feed Otto so much and no more, never more than a spot, or something may happen. And now I know what. All right, let's move on to our numbers. So with a zero, we start at the top. Go around, it's an oval. One, start at the top and straight down, and our two, curl around to the right and wee. Zero, nothing. One, and then two. One, two. So the two is just curl around to the right and wee. So write our twos, and next week we'll learn threes. So we have two flowers here, and the back is pretty fun. Lots of counting. So this is good. We need to do lots of counting. Remember, we start left to right. Boys ready? Let's go. Beautiful, Kaz. I love that too. Let me see some more. Try this one, buddy. That one's small. Here you go, buddy. Come on. Curl around to the right and we. That is your number two, Kaz. One, two. Number two. Do some more. I think you're almost finished, buddy. Curl around to the right and wee. Curl around to the right and wee. You can do that. You can. Curl around to the right and wee. Good job, buddy. Well done, Kaz. That looks awesome. Good job. Couple more, sweetie. Yep, good job. Well done. Flip, okay, let's 
to the back because I'm I think you're gonna love this back that car. So this one is two wheels, one, two. So there's two circles. <gasps> wow, one more buddy, and you are good to go. Well done. How many flags are right there, Vic? One. Just one flag, yeah. So where is the number one? Ooh, good job. How many ducks? One. One duck. So circle the one. Yes. Two houses. Two wheels. One, two, so two. This one duck. Means nine. That means nine. Mommy. A panda bear. Two houses. How many panda bears? One flower. How many ducks? One panda bear. How many flags? One. One flag. Circle the one. How many ducks? One duck. How many chickens? One chicken. Oh, two, you're right. One duck. Eggs are two. Yeah, I was looking at that. I'm looking at the duck. Two chickens, one two. No, one two bells. <laughs> How many bells? Two bells? And you've got just one more. There's two. How many are two one? One two, Cass. Oh, Cass, you have a couple more. One two, circle your two. Yep, two bells. One two. Two bells, Vic. Kaza, two bells. One, two. Cat. Circle your two, buddy. No. How many horses? <laughs> How many horses? <laughs> How many horses? <laughs> One. Two. <laughs> two houses. <laughs> How many houses? <laughs> How many houses? <laughs> two. Two houses. What about this panda bear? How Why many? How many bears, Cass? How many bears? Help me. Hi, Cass, you're doing great. One more. How many shamrocks? Two, two. Two, two, two. Good job. All right, who wants to come and race this board? Me, me.